In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about revision control. We all know that a project usually goes through several revisions in its lifetime, issued for approval, issued for construction, as built, etc. We also know that human error can sometimes cause confusion with this. For example, you may be looking at two copies of the same schematics of the same revision, the same date, but they are different. Now you have to figure out which copy is the latest one, which can be frustrating and tedious. Maybe the draftsman forgot to create a new revision or change the date. SkyCAD's revision control minimizes human error. Let me show you how it works. Within a project in SkyCAD, you are always working within a revision. As you can see, in this project, we are currently working within revision A, and the status of that revision is open. I haven't added a description or date yet, but we'll get to that in a moment. What the status being open means is that we are still busy working with this revision of the schematics and are free to make whatever changes we want. For example, moving components around, adding new ones, assigning part numbers to components, and whatever else we want to do. Once we are completely finished with the revision of the schematics, this is when we close the revision. This is how we do it. Select the project, click on the Show tab, and select Revisions. In the tree view, we see revision A, which is open. There is also a checkbox, which I'll explain a bit later. Once we expand the properties of the revision, we can see more information. This is the same information displayed in the title block. So I'm done with this revision of the schematics now, and I want to send it to my client for approval. So let's try and change the status of this revision from open to closed. We're not allowed to yet. You must specify a name in the approved bar property prior to closing a revision. Okay, I'll enter my initials here. This is to provide some traceability as to who closed the revision. If anyone has any questions about this revision, they know who to look for. Let's try and close the revision again. We're still not allowed to. You must specify a description prior to closing a revision. Very important. What is this revision? Is it for approval, construction, as built? What is it? I'll say for approval. Now let's close the revision. There we go. Today's date has also been added automatically. Notice that the information in the title block has been updated too. Once the revision is closed, no more changes can be made to the project, not even to the revision information itself. Everything is grayed out. Let's minimize the properties for now. If we try to change anything, let's delete a symbol for example, we get a message telling us the revision is locked. We can't delete anything, add anything, move anything, assign part numbers, change a component. We can't do anything. Revision A is now closed and protected. This means that from this day forth, all Revision A schematics that have a closed status will be exactly the same. No one can say their Revision A is different from your Revision A. It's not possible. They are all the same. Let's move on. Let's say the client has asked me to make some minor changes to the schematics and then go ahead with construction. Well, seeing as though we cannot make any changes within this revision, we need to create a new one. Select the project, click on the Create Add tab, and select Add Revision. Revision B is now created. The status is open, which means we can go ahead and make whatever changes to the schematics we want. And revision A is closed. Let's say the client wanted me to replace this photo cell with a limit switch. Change the part number of this contactor. Let's 
and remove this circuit. Let's do a quick renumbering. You may want to add revision clouds to emphasize some of the changes that took place. To do so, click on the drawing tab and select Add Revision Cloud. Like a polyline, click a few times around the object, then double click to close it off. The changes for this revision are done, so I'm going to close this revision and issue it for construction. Now I'll print these schematics and give them to the workshop for construction. A few weeks later and the project is complete. So I'll create a new revision and call it As Built. Close it off and put this project to bed. Notice that the revision cloud has been removed automatically. This is because the revision cloud is no longer pertinent to this revision. Everything I've shown you so far in this tutorial comes with the free standard license. Here are some additional features you would get if you've purchased the Pro license. You can see what changed between this revision and the previous one. By selecting a revision, let's take revision B, clicking on the configuration management tab, and selecting the highlighter. We can see that the limit switch and contactor are highlighted. This means that they were modified between revision A and B. With the Pro license, you can also toggle back to previous revisions with the checkboxes to roll back the entire project to the state that it was in in that revision. Let's roll back to revision A. As you can see, the photocell is back, the old contactor is being used, and the stoplight circuit is back. Everything is back to the way it was in that revision. This is not only on this sheet, but every sheet, parts list, etc. are back to the way they were in that revision. We can toggle between all the revisions like this to see how the project evolved. 